Hi, I'm Matthew Pearson. Today we're going to talk about how to update your BIOS ROM. Now, I've got a laptop right here. It's an HP laptop. I'm going to show you how to do it on this one. It's, it's pretty similar for all the other laptop vendors out there, but I'm just going to go with HP because it is the number one, or HP and Compact, the number one laptop manufacturers. So chances are you've got an HP or a Compact. What you want to do is go to hp.com, go to support, and this is for HP, remember, but if it was Dell, you'd go to their site. You go to the support and drivers page, go to drivers and downloads. This is a, a DV8T laptop, so I enter DV8T. It's also a pavilion, so I'll put that in there. That'll help them search. And what it'll do is it'll find you know, three matches. Mine is the uh, DV81100, so I'll go to that link right there. So basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna maneuver through your, your website for the vendor to get to the uh, downloads thing. Now the nifty thing about HP's website is they have this scan now button right here. Where you just click on that, it'll install a little application and what it'll do is it'll go out and scan your, your uh, computer and it'll find everything that's out of date and it'll give you a list of stuff uh, that you can use to up, you know, a li list of items that you can update. Um, and so it'll do other things other than just the BIOS. It'll do like graphics, drivers, sound chips, network, all sorts of stuff. So um, that's a really cool utility. It does a really good job and it's very accurate too. So it'll, it, it takes all the guesswork out of it. So anyway, you go through, through the uh, menu options, pick your operating system, and then, uh, you can present with a whole list of things. And right here, there's a section on BIOS right there. And so what I do, you know, for the H my HP laptop, this is for all of them, you'll get this download button, you click on that, and basically what it will do is download the utility into your web page. Now I've got it right here. Um, when it gets done, it's now done. I'm gonna click on it, which will bring it up after my virus software scans of viruses so that's another thing you want to make sure you have good virus antivirus software on there and so once it brings it up then you'll go through the permissions box right here and then what you can do is just follow through with the instructions again this is the hp one click next accept the terms click next and uh, it wants to extract it on my system i've already got it there so now it's bringing it up. And then all you have to do is click the start button and it will go through and do it. But notice right here, it says, do not turn off your computer. That is so important. You do not want your computer to turn off in the middle of a BIOS upgrade because it'll turn it into a brick. Um, or you have the potential of doing that. If it's writing the flash chip and it gets halfway through and then you turn it off, uh, you'll have a corrupt flash chip in there in your BIOS and it, chances are it won't work. So make sure that you're plugged in, want your power on in the wall, your battery's fully charged, don't do this on a low battery, either you want your system fully charged, plugged in, so there's no chance of an interrupt, then hit start and let it run to completion. Let it do its thing, um, it will go through, and then when it gets done, it's gonna wanna reboot, just take all the defaults, let it do its thing, let it reboot, and then you'll come up with an upgraded BIOS. Um, so again, just go to the vendor website, you know, find your model, download the application, run it, make sure your battery's fully charged, you're plugged in, don't interrupt it, let it run to completion, and you will update your BIOS. My name is Matt Pierce, thanks for watching.